Tomas, what's your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is Misery by Stephen King. My favorite book is uh, Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Who are the main characters? The main characters are Aragon, the main protagonist, Arya, Sephira, and Bronn. Uh, the main characters are Paul Sheldon and Annie Wilkes. Do the main characters change by the end of the book? Do they grow or mature? Um, yeah, because towards the end there's conflict because they're both trying to kill each other. One for out of um, hatred and one for survival. Yeah, uh, Aragon changes from an instant fanboy to a mature man who knows how to fight and fend for himself. Is the ending satisfying? If so, why? Yes, because the main protagonist defeats the main antagonist who's called uh, Derza the Shade. Uh, yes, because Paul kills Annie towards the end um, in order for in vengeance, but at the cost of his legs. Is the plot engaging? Does the story interest you? Yeah, there's a lot of climaxes throughout it, um, particularly towards the end. Yeah, um, it's driven by the characters, really. It's, it goes on a moderate pace, um, and then at the end, it speeds up and it's over before you know it. Is this a fast-paced page-turner? Um, no, you kind of have to, you have to read, you have to stick with it until the middle, and then it, it just, you can't put it down then. Yeah. It's slow towards the start and it speeds up as you get towards the end and it finally just like it climaxes at the end. Who's your favourite author and why? Uh, Stephen King for his descriptive abilities and the way that he makes you feel so scared on page, on like on writing. It just makes you feel so, it's like a horror film but on paper. Christopher Paolini because the, I can relate to him because when he, he only wrote he wrote this, my favourite book, um, when he was 15, which was around my age as well, so I can relate to him. Kira, what does reading mean to you? Um, well, I guess it would mean a lot because in today's world, you know, there's no shortage of anxieties, especially when you're my age and you're a teenager and you're entering into adulthood, you know, there's an abundance of them. But when you pick up a book and open it, it transforms you to this other realm where you know you fall so deeply in love with the characters, their, their personalities, their faults, their problems and how they overcome it and you can learn so much from their mistakes. Um, but also um, at the end of the book, I think that's my favourite bit of the book because um, the whole story comes together and you get that underlying message that the author is trying to put out to everyone and you can only really get there when your imagination takes you to that realm. Kira. Thank you for your wonderful exclamation of your interpretation of what reading is. Okay, wait, 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 start from here. This is so weird. <laughs> He's not it so shit. Uh, okay. I trust him completely. <laughs> Kira, what does Ed do? <laughs>